AJ, Dune. <laughs> it's happened. <laughs> the, the wonderful <laughs> Dune has hit cinemas. I have now seen it twice. The review oh. will be at the time of recording this video. The review will be dropping tomorrow when this video airs. The review might already be out. The meta world that we live in. Um, if you like Dune, like this video because we're going to talk some Dune now. But AJ, Dune 2 has done awfully well. Awfully well. Good. Um, and people were actually like, are we really going to get to Dune 3? Well, considering there's like eight books and the two first movies have done really well, allow me to say, yeah, think. <laughs> and here's the full story of, uh, of essentially this. <laughs> the fact that people are like, oh, my God, it's really happening. It's like, yes, of course, it's really happening. But anyway, here's the story, AJ. If you could flip the screens around. Thank you, sir. June 3 development eased following the box office success of June 2. So... The sci-fi epic June 2 is coming off a massive 82.5 million opening weekend and following that box office supremacy, a recent update about the third film sounds especially promising. During an interview with CNBC, legendary CEO Josh Grode expressed that if director Denis Villeneuve, and that's how you pronounce his name, my American friends, not Villeneuve, Villeneuve, and his team write a great script for June 3, which they will, aka June Messiah, they're completely on board with continuing the franchise. We have to have all creative stakeholders aligned and support the vision. I think everybody is very excited and really enjoying this moment. And if Denis Villeneuve gets the script right and he feels that he can deliver another experience on par with what we've just completed, then I don't see why not. AJ, are you actually surprised at the idea that we're going to get to June 3, considering there's even more Junes to be made? And... Basically, the first two have been really successful. Thoughts? So the only reason I'm shocked is because when June first came out as a movie, I was familiar of it as a movie, just the one. So mm. even when I went to see the original, well, this is going to get confusing. When I went to see the latest version, part one, I was shocked that there was a part two because I was like, but June is just one movie. Not familiar with how many series there are in the book. So I thought this was the completion. Finding out that there are eight books and that they're all going to get their chance to breathe. I mean, look, I really enjoyed the first one. I've been away this weekend, so I've not had a chance to watch it as yet. However, it is something that was quite high on my list. Like last year, I was pumped thinking it was coming out then. It then mm. came out this year, so... It's, it's one of those things that the production of the film is right. The, the, the acting and the, the, the whole ambience of the film is in its right place. Now, if you've got the, it's not a cash grab if you're following a, a, a series of books, if you're following that, and if you can just keep to that same beat, then you're onto a winner. And for that, I, I fully endorse it. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to see it all come about. Uh, listen, I go so far as to say that it would be great to, ha to see Denis Villeneuve continue making this because he's clearly got his finger on the pulse with this franchise and he clearly really knows what he's doing with this world. Um, that said, I don't think it's an absolute necessity for Denis to come back. Now, don't get me wrong. They would need a filmmaker of very, very, very great repute to continue Denis' work, you know. But if you bring in a Nolan or a Spielberg or a Peter Jackson, I believe they could do a damn good job with this franchise. Um, would I like to see Denis continue? Sure. Am I surprised at the fact that we're getting a June? I mean, this isn't news for me. June 1 and 2 have been so well received. I'll say this. I did say this in my review. I do think June 2 has been slightly overhyped. But it's still fantastic. <laughs> it's still brilliant. And it's been well received both by critics and audiences. I'm not surprised by this. And it's for me yet another case of, is this really constituting news? Well, it is because we're reporting on it. But, you know, um, anything you want to add on this? Support good cinema. Simple as. Like, let's not waste any time. If, if it's doing good, whether you can overhype it, films get overhyped all the time. That's not something we can really control or endorse. Mm. However, Overhype doesn't mean you're not good. So as long as it's good, correct. Support the cinema and let it keep coming out. That's that's really my whole point in it. 
The one thing I do love, I have to say, that Grode said, the uh, CEO, is that they very, very much want their creative vision aligned because that's something we discussed in one of the other videos this week with regarding Madam Web. Um, so do check that out if you haven't done so yet. But do like the video. Uh, if you like June, <laughs> this is the channel for you. Go and check out my review for June if you haven't done so already. Please do subscribe to the channel and we'll see you guys on another news video right here on the Silver Screen Dudes YouTube channel. See ya.